business doesn't have to be as hard as you're making it. It's all about mastering a few key techniques, systems, and mindset. Welcome to Well-Oiled Operations. With over 2 million downloads, it's the go-to podcast dedicated to helping you increase your profit margins while getting your time back. I'm your host, Stacey Tushel. I've been an entrepreneur for over 20 years and I own multiple seven-figure businesses. Whether you're a brick and mortar or an online business owner, it doesn't matter. I've got both and I'll show you my framework to get you more customers in the door, more profit in your pocket and more happiness in your home. It's time to get your business less reliant on you. All right, so I'm gonna be sharing my favorite health hacks, biohacking stuff that I'm doing. This is probably an episode you may want to watch on YouTube because I've got a lot of things I'm showing you and I'll show you brands and all of that. And it's going to be easier to see if you're on YouTube. So you can just go check it out at Stacey Tushel. All right. So I'm excited to do this episode. Let's talk first about why I'm so obsessed with my health. Okay. First of all, it is not just to look good or be thin. Okay. Yes, of course, I would like to look and feel my best. But the biggest reason, that I am so really obsessed with my health is I want to be here as long as I can. I mean, here on earth present with my family. And I want to be not here just physically, but I want to be here mentally. My family has a history of dementia and I have seen many family members live a long time, but not mentally be here. Okay. And I just don't want that for my family. So I have done a lot of research of just brain health and gut health and all of that. Okay. So just know a lot of the tips and strategies I'm giving, it's not like how to lose weight and how to do this. It's truly how to be healthy, how to be a peak performer as an entrepreneur, as a business owner that has multiple seven figure businesses. I need energy. I need fuel. And I cannot be living off of monsters and caffeine and all of that. Okay. So I want to just kind of share with you what this looks like. Now, my journey started with a 50 cent book that I picked up at a rummage sale over a decade ago called Healthy Child, Healthy World. I was about to become a new mom. And when I read this book, it changed my life and definitely changed the way that I probably was not going to parent, right? I parent very differently because of that book. So I do think if you just want to be skinny, sometimes that why just isn't enough for change. At least it was never enough for me, okay? So anyway, what I've been telling myself This year specifically is this is going to be the best year, like the best shape I've been in ever. Okay. And I would say that I have thought this pretty often over the years. And every year I feel I'm getting better. But last year, like 2022, I actually felt I was going backwards a little bit. And I kind of got a little nervous. I'm like, oh my goodness, what I was doing before was no longer working. Ever been there? Right. All of a sudden, the stuff that had been working so well, I was starting to gain a little bit of weight. I was losing my shape a little bit, like I was losing muscle, my clothes were not fitting well, and I was also very tired, and I was definitely getting a little stressed, okay? And I will tell you that in case you've ever listened to one of these episodes before where I've talked about health and peak performance, I have changed a lot of stuff that I've done actually over the last nine months, and I wanted to share some updates for those of you that love to hear this. Now, of course, big disclaimer, I am not a nutritionist, I am not a fitness expert, But I do invest in my education in any area of my life that I want to get better. I'm constantly reading health books. I'm hiring fitness coaches, nutrition coaches, all of that, right? I surround myself with people that I know know this stuff, okay? They are the experts. So I take zero credit and will definitely share where I've learned things as well if you wanted to go deeper, okay? I also want to mention, not only am I going to show you certain products that I love, but I'm also going to have a download with a link to everything. I'm not gonna be able to mention everything because there is a lot. So some things I won't say, but you'll see on that sheet, okay? So anyway, and some things I have coupon codes for and things like that, but all the items that I'm referring, I personally currently use and love, okay? Now, um, you can either DM me on Instagram, the word health, or look under the podcast show notes, or if you're watching on YouTube, just check out under the video. I'm gonna put everything there as well. Okay, so anyway, the last part of this disclaimer and reminder is I have been on my recent health journey for over 10 years. So I always tell people, you don't need to go from zero to 100 and copy what I'm doing. Because I, I didn't go from zero to 100. This is me 10 years in. So here's what I would suggest. 
pick a couple things I'm doing. And once that becomes your new habit, then go back and add another one or two. Sound good? Okay. So the biggest thing that I did in the last like maybe nine months or so was I hired a nutritionist and I joined a group coaching program last November called Create Your Shape by, that's her Instagram handle is Jenny, the nutritionist. Okay. You can find her on Instagram. It was a four month program. It was super, like a super small group. So I got to actually like talk to her and ask her questions. And she taught me a lot. Okay. So a couple of things I learned from her, I'll, I'll start with. All right. So first of all, I am now tracking my macros. I have been tracking macros since November. I absolutely hated it. I didn't get it. I felt like it was this puzzle that you could never figure out. And it literally made me feel stupid. <laughs> but she gave me some tough love and she really was like, you've got to figure this out. Like, there's no way you can't figure this out. I know you. Okay. Now, Eventually, it did get easier. And I will say now, I feel fairly confident. I definitely have some ways to go, but I am learning. And when I, when I do hit my macro goals, um, I, and macros, just so anybody's like, wait, what? I am tracking my carbs, my protein, my fat, my fiber, okay? So when I hit those numbers, those goals, I can tell you just by how I feel, like I can feel it in my stomach. I can feel it in like my body without even stepping on a scale. I know that like it's working, if that makes sense. Okay. Now, I also have done it long enough and have found patterns and things that I eat that I wouldn't even need to track to know that I'm very close to my goals. Okay. I understand now that I was under eating big time. I was eating about 1200 calories a day, which is very low. I was not purposely under eating. I really was full and that filled me up and I didn't think anything of it. Okay. I was also very low carb, which you hear like carbs are bad. Don't eat carbs, right? Like low carb is good. So I was actually eating a very high fat diet, high healthy fat. Okay. Healthy fats, like, um, for instance, like I'm going to show you this, this drink that I love. It has seven grams of fat in it. These are healthy fats, but you can still eat too much fat, right? So avocado, really healthy fat. Like I was eating a majority of fat and very low protein and even lower carbs, okay? Today, in case you're curious, I am eating about 135 grams of protein. That is a non-negotiable. I must hit 135 grams of protein. And then about 50 grams of fat. I think it's like 52 or 51 or something like that. And then I eat 135 grams of carbs, okay? I will tell you, like the protein is massive, the change, but the carbs are massive. The, and when I say carbs, I am eating like fruits, bananas, apples. Um, carbs would be like rice, potatoes, like sweet potatoes, right? Healthy carbs, um, not carbs as in like chips and crackers and stuff like that. Okay. So I will tell you, I think one of the reasons I was so tired. I, every night I would just be like, oh my goodness, I'm so tired. After work, I was exhausted. The, the low carb was killing me. And I had no idea because now that I'm eating 135 grams of carbs, like the energy is insane. I could literally go, go, go. Okay. So that was huge. Now, the reason I was able to under eat and not feel it was because I was intermittent fasting a 16 hour fast. Okay. So I would these numbers aren't going to be exact, but I would maybe stop eating at like six o'clock at night, seven o'clock at night. And I wouldn't eat until like noon or something or 11. Okay. And because I was only eating between like noon and six, or like, let's say 10 and six, it was such a short eating window. And I would work in there that I wouldn't even realize that I wasn't eating enough. So I would be full, but it was just because it was that short window. So one of the things that Jenny really helped me with was now I only fast 12 hours a day. Okay. So I will stop eating by seven and I my, my breakfast, I'll break my fast around 7 a.m. And that helps me get in this amount of food that I'm eating, okay? I am only eating real foods. I shop on the outside of the grocery store, not in the middle. So I basically eat good quality meats, fish, fruits, vegetables, like that kind of stuff, okay? Rice is probably the only thing I buy in the middle of the store. So here is a quick sample, like very sample, simple meal breakdown of like one day. Okay. So I'm going to definitely give you this recipe because it's so, so good. 
Um, it, it, I call them like, I don't even know what they're really called, but I call them protein cookie muffins. Oh my goodness. Okay. So they basically taste like oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and I can batch cook these so you can eat them several times and you don't have to like bake them every morning. And they are loaded with, it's like a great macro friendly meal, protein, lots of protein, lots of carbs, et cetera. And they're delicious. Okay. Now, very big disclaimer. My husband always says, don't tell people things are delicious because you eat so good. It's not that good <laughs> if they don't eat good. So whenever I'm like, oh my goodness, this tastes like a Reese's. My husband will be like, it does not taste like a Reese's. Like you're crazy. Okay. So just know that because I eat such like pure food, right? Very low sugar, like fake sugar. Um, I do think things taste better than most people, right? So they do say like your taste buds change when you eat real food. So I might say, this is delicious. And then you're going to eat like, this is disgusting, right? So in case there is anything like that, again, and, and I'll tell you this, keep trying those things because I probably was in the same boat 10 years ago when I was eating just, hor- I was eating like lean cuisines and just like anything I wanted, like a Jack's frozen pizza. I mean, I was just eating so horrible. And when I changed, I'm sure I had felt the same way. But as I kept trying certain things, I'm like, oh, I kind of like it now, right? So just something to think about. Like, I remember... I tried Spindrift, which is one of my favorite sparkling waters, but I tried it for the first time and I was like, this is nasty. And then somebody else had it somewhere and I tried it again. I was like, oh, I kind of like it. Now I'm obsessed with them. So your taste buds definitely change. Okay. So anyway, like let's say the cookie muffins are my breakfast. Then for lunch, pretty much every day, I do a meal delivery service called 70 factor 75. I'll link to them. And I think I have a coupon code for them. And, um, I'll throw then then at 3 p.m. every day at like 3 p.m. I do a protein shake. I'll tell you what your favorite protein is on that download as well. And then at dinner, I usually eat some sort of high quality source of protein like meat or fish or shrimp or something with a green vegetable and then either rice or potatoes for my carb. Like that is what I eat every single day. Okay, so that's what you're kind of seeing there. Now, I told you I stopped intermittent fasting for so long that massively changed. I feel different about my energy. I had really high cortisol levels before from stress and intermittent fasting actually puts more stress on your body. So for me, it wasn't good, okay? So some of you, the 16-hour window might work perfect. So just know like there's different things for each person. I also learned from Jenny to stop working out fasted. And that was a really hard change for me. I used to wake up in the morning And I would work out not having eaten anything. And now all of a sudden it was like, you're going to eat and then you're going to work out. And I could not, I I don't even get that. Like it just didn't make sense to me. So what I actually ended up doing that I love now is I'm working out in like in the afternoon, like I'm working out after like three or four o'clock when I'm done with my work day. What, and I never would have thought I could have done that. So now obviously I've eaten, so I'm not working out fasted which is also helping me build muscle. Like I want to build my shape. I want to build more muscle. So that's something I am specifically doing, which is why I'm high in protein and I'm lifting heavy when I lift weights or like when I work out, I pretty much only lift weights when I work out. Okay. So, um, that was a huge change. And I will tell you working out at three or four massively helps me de-stress. And then I get to use my morning routine when I'm most productive and I get to use it for work. And that has just been a game changer. Okay, the last thing that Jenny really blew my mind with and has changed it for me was finding a new routine while I traveled. So here was like my biggest takeaway. My travel habits were really bad and I didn't know. So I used to think when I traveled, like it didn't count. I could eat whatever I wanted. I'd have deserted like every meal, I would eat whatever I wanted. I'd have like the burger and fries at the restaurant, all of that. And Jenny was like, you travel way too much to have your strategy be you do whatever you want. Like, there's just no way. You're not a normal person. Like, guys, I traveled 10 times in Q1 and Q2. Like, Q2 as in like, no, I shouldn't even say that. The first four months of the year, I traveled 10 times. That's not normal. (laughs) That's not what normal people do, right? So I don't get to have eat whatever you want, as many desserts as you want. But that's what I was doing. So I would be really good at home and then I would blow it on the trip and I'd come home like bloated and feeling gross and it would be hard to get back into my workout routine. And it was just like this constant pattern. And what's so funny is I would hear people say things like, I don't know why I'm not losing weight. 
I eat really good during the week and I only eat bad on the weekends. And in my brain, I'm like, yes, but the weekends are three out of seven days. Like, of course, you're not hitting your goals. And Jenny was basically saying, Stacy, you're gone like 50 50. So, of course, you're not hitting your goals. And I'm like, I never looked at it that way. So, I am definitely a work in progress on the travel, but I'm getting better. So, one of the things that I do that she taught me is I now bring my protein with me, like my protein scoops, like my shake, right? And what I do is so I know that I'm always going to kick off with a good breakfast, no matter what. I'm always going to have like a good portion of protein. And what I do is I have this mini blender, which I'll put on the PDF for you as well. I have this mini blender that like it's handheld. It is like if I'm you're looking at me on YouTube, it's like this big. It's maybe six inches, like nothing crazy. I can put it in my purse. I could put it in my my carry on. Doesn't matter. So I will bring this like mini. It's really a frother, but it blends that just fine. So I'll usually get a cup of coffee, right? What's nice is you travel and coffee's everywhere. Your hotel, your Airbnb, your conference room, Starbucks on the way to the conference room. Like there's no way I'm not gonna have coffee, right? Or not gonna be able to find coffee. So I'll mix a scoop of protein in the coffee and there's my protein right there. And then it's easy to find carbs as well. Like it's very easy to find, a, like you can get a banana at Starbucks, right? You can get, there's usually fruit or something somewhere at one of these coffee shops. So and then I can get my healthy carbs in as well. All right. I will put, I'm not going to go into this, but I'm going to put all of my favorite snacks that I bring on a trip with me, or I just use at home to snack on. Um, I bring quite a bit of food with me if I don't have access to a grocery store close by. When I am planning my Airbnb or my hotel, I will literally search for the closest Whole Foods and I'll strategically make sure I'm near the like Whole Foods is just my preference of where I shop. So I'll look for a Whole Foods and I will purposely stop at Whole Foods make sure my room has a refrigerator and I'm bringing stuff with me, okay? Now, here's the deal. If you're a normal person that travels on vacation a normal amount of time, you don't have to be crazy like me. You can go all out and do whatever you want. I don't have a normal travel schedule. So for me, this had to change, okay? So I will say I will absolutely have like one vacation where I'm just like eating all the things and doing all of the things that I want to. But when I go on all of these business trips constantly, I really want to be better, okay? Now, um, with that said, there was a personal, there, out of those 10 trips, there was, there was personal travel mixed in with business, okay? But for me, my goal is just 90% of the time, I'm pretty good and I'm pretty healthy. And the other 10% of the time, I eat whatever I want. So I will say, because I can't even believe somebody thought this, so I have to say it now, I was at one of our events and I was eating a cookie like just a cookie we were serving to everybody. And one of my clients was like, I thought you don't eat cookies. And I was like, what? No, no, no. Like, <laughs> guys, I eat good 90% of the time, but you better believe I'm going to have a cookie when there's a cookie for dessert. Like I'm a big dessert person. Okay. So I just went to a baby shower. I ate very healthy when I was getting my food. And then I for sure had the cake at the end. Okay. So just know I'm not like perfect and I'm not trying to be a hundred percent perfect because that's just not sustainable. And I don't really want to never have cake ever again. Okay. So anyway, um, I'm also going to put on there. I know protein can be very expensive and I'll show you how I get my protein a little bit cheaper than what you're going to find typically on their website in case you want to try the one I'm using. Okay. Now that was just one person that I learned that from now, in case you're like, wait, whatever happened to faster way to fat loss? You've mentioned them many times before. So here is the deal. I never quit faster way while I was working with Jenny. But what was really cool was Jenny's strategies were 90% the same as Fasterway, okay? In fact, I actually felt like Jenny helped me understand Fasterway better. Now, this was not a Fasterway problem. This was a me problem. I never like dug into the trainings or I thought like, oh, no, it's fine. I don't need to know that macros. Like they teach macros. I just never obviously thought I needed to know macros. I don't know. I don't know why it took me, Jenny, to like use Fasterway the way they actually intend it, but that's kind of what happened. So Here's what I love about Fasterway. And right now, the only thing I am doing is Fasterway. I love their app. I'm actually tracking my macros and everything right in their app. Their app is phenomenal. Um, I use my coach right now through the Fasterway. So I actually can talk to somebody or just she's got training calls. And um, just I love following somebody where I can ask questions. Um, I use Fasterway's workouts. So I'm using, I'm working about three to four times a week using Fasterway's workouts. I'm only doing their strength training. So I do like a full body strength day. I do a leg day. I do an arm day. And then if I work out the fourth time, I'll pick like a repeat video from like weeks before, maybe when I skipped or something. 
and I'll decide like what's not sore and what do I want to do? Okay. I am trying to add in stretching and yoga. It's just like so hard for me sometimes, but I am trying to do that right now. And then I am making sure I walk 10,000 steps a day. So that's a big one for me. I also love Faster Ways travel bands. So if you go to the website, I'll give you in the download. And I do have a coupon code for Faster Way. If you go by their travel bands, oh my goodness, I use them. You can use them in the regular workouts just at home if you want to build your own like little home gym. But I travel with my travel bands everywhere. You will never find me without those travel bands in my carry-on, okay? Their workouts always allow you to use their bands. So if I'm in a hotel, I can use it. If I'm on an RV trip and there is nothing, I can still do this, okay? And I love that they're only 30 minutes because I don't have time for a two-hour workout routine. They also have these three holiday videos in their app that are 10 minutes. So I can even be on vacation and be like, oh, I'll just do a quick 10-minute video. And that 10-minute video is still better than nothing, right? So um, 10,000 steps I have right next to me um, is a treadmill. So I have a treadmill in my gym downstairs, but I have a treadmill in my office. I'll put the link to the one I have. I also have a standing desk that's with it. So I can watch, um, what can I do? I can be at a team meeting on my treadmill. I could be on a coaching call in my group coaching program that maybe I'm in. I don't like ever coach my clients on it. I, I don't want them to be distracted if I'm teaching, but if I'm not teaching, I'll be on here. Or if it's like rainy or cold on a Saturday, I might come in here and watch Netflix and walk just to get my 10,000 steps in. When I walk 10,000 steps, my sleep quality is always better. So it's a non-negotiable for me. I need to hit 10,000 steps. Okay, next piece, drinking, which I did not purposely just take a sip while I said that. But we're going to talk about all the things I drink because there's a lot and I want you to know. So I'll bring this back since I just drank it. So I always have, this is actually pretty small for me. This is only 32 ounces. I actually like 40 ounce stuff. I just bought, I'm very, very excited. I just bought the Yeti half gallon and gallon Yeti. Um, why would I need that? So half gallon, this is how crazy I am with my water. I'm literally keeping my half gallon in my car. So if we're ever like going somewhere or doing something and like we need, like we, I, I will literally run out of water if I'm gone a few hours because I drink so much water. So now I can refill my water in my car. I bought the gallon because when I go on like an RV trip or something, I can bring my own filtered water and not have to like go buy plastic water bottles and all the things. Okay. So I am using in here in my cups, I have water with element packets. This is salt water. I think it's delicious. If you're recently in well-oiled, I started putting these in the well-oiled boxes because I just love them so much and I want you to see them. L-M-N-T, like four letters. And it is, there is sodium, potassium, magnesium. This is actually great if you have high cortisol, if you are stressed. This is amazing. There's just a lot of really, like, you can go research on their website, like why these are so good. So I basically drink these in my water all day long. Like I probably drink minimum 100 ounces of water a day, okay? So that's what I'm drinking all day. I kick off my morning with a cup of coffee sometimes, okay? I do not have coffee every single day. It really depends on what I'm eating. So if I decide my breakfast is going to be those cookie muffins, I won't need a coffee to go with that. I, if I want it, I can have it, but I don't, I don't need it. I don't need caffeine. I'm not like, I don't, I'm not somebody that has to have a cup of coffee, okay? So I might not have any coffee. Now, the reason I pulled out these guys, these cold brews are delicious. This is from Pop and Bottle. My favorite is Classic Cold Brew Almonds Latte. I tried the other flavors. I do not like them, but I like this one. So sometimes it's a very quick breakfast. I will throw this in my blender with a scoop of protein, okay? So there's only four grams of protein in here, but my scoop is 24. So now all of a sudden I got 28 grams of protein for breakfast. Um, and then I'll, because there's not enough carbs, I'm like 17 carbs, I might eat a piece of toast or something like that. Okay. I'm gluten-free toast. So with that said, um, this is definitely something I, I will drink once in a while. I try not to drink caffeine every single day. And if I usually drink a cup of coffee, I really like our Nespresso machine. I'll usually drink a decaf Nespresso or like a half and half. Um, I just, like I said, I, I don't need caffeine and I don't want to become addicted to anything. And you can absolutely become addicted to caffeine. So that's what I'm doing pretty much all day. I, at night for dinner, will drink a Spindrift sparkling water or Mountain Valley sparkling water. One, and I'll put like lime or so, like something in it. That is all I drink, okay? I don't drink 
monsters. I don't drink soda. I don't drink like coffee all day. Um, and I don't even drink alcohol. So again, I am not here to judge you for drinking a Diet Coke. <laughs> I'm not here to tell you. I am only telling you what I do. Okay. People are asking me, what are you doing? And that's all I'm telling you is what I do. All I'm saying is, if any of this sounds cool to you, maybe try one or two of these things, okay? And just see how you feel. I love my changes because I feel really good, okay? So I, I um, read this book by my friend, Annie Grace. It is called The Naked, This Naked Mind. And it is a book about alcohol. It is phenomenal. I only got through half of this book before I literally never took a sip of alcohol again. Now, she explains in this book all of the stuff I never knew about alcohol. It is so, even if you don't drink, I would recommend reading it because it is fascinating what alcohol does and just like everything about it. I really thought the book was, her, the research she does, it's phenomenal. So what happened was, as I read the book, I started to completely lose desire to drink. So this isn't like, oh, drinking's bad, I shouldn't drink. I just have nothing in me that wants alcohol, okay? So will I never, ever drink again? I have no idea. But right now, I'm not drinking. I have no desire to drink. And it is serving me well, okay? So here's what I will tell you. Because people, whenever I tell people this, they're like, wait, what? And then they'll ask me certain questions. So I'll tell you what they usually ask. So I've already been out to holiday parties, New Year's Eve. I was at an all-inclusive resort in Mexico, like where you could drink as much alcohol as you wanted for free and you technically already paid for it, right? I've been on over 10 business trips and vacations. I've had open bar at like very nice conferences and really nice parties. And literally I've been at so many open bars in the last, I don't even know how long. And I just had no desire. So usually when that happens, I just, I just order a sparkling water with a lime. Like that's what I get when I'm out. So again, it served me well and I'm liking it and I feel amazing. Um, the book talked about even when you drink on a Saturday, the effects, what you actually feel on a Monday. And I was like, oh my goodness, Monday is probably my most important day of the week. I do so much on Monday. And I'm like, if I'm technically still feeling the alcohol, even though I don't realize I'm feeling it, or it is like making my sleep different, or I'm like, nope, just, I'm just not interested. I need sleep. I need good quality sleep. The weekends, I sleep the best. And then I'm like, wait a minute, if I'm usually drinking on the weekends, and then I'm hurting my sleep when it's the best sleep. It just wasn't something I was interested in anymore. Okay. Now, will I change my mind? Maybe, maybe. I have no idea. So we'll see. So that's that. Speaking of sleep, I love this CBD. I use this before I go to bed. Um, I, I know the owner and I love everything he stands for and the reason he built the company, which makes me like the brand even more. And I trust that it's really, really good quality. So it's called 101 hemp. I think it's called highway 101. It says 101 hemp.org. I'll put, I'll put the actual link on my, on that download for you. Okay. But I, I love, love, love this. Uh, this is mine. So I have 800 milligrams. My husband uses the one that's like 3,200 or something. It's crazy. But, um, I do, my, I like his chill X tropical bliss is the one that I use. And then sometimes I will take these. I love these too. Soul sleepy gummies. Um, Angie Lee, love, love, love them. I will, I like to take these when I travel, like the chill kind of feels like it calms me down a little bit. I think it de-stresses me, but these will actually make me a little sleepy. And that's what I like about these. So I kind of use a mix of both with the CBD there. Okay. Um, and then one more thing with sleep is my aura ring. So I'm Kent just bought one. I had my aura ring for like five years and he finally has drank the Kool-Aid. Um, and he now just bought one. It hasn't come yet. But the Aura Ring tracks your sleep. It tracks your steps, your resting heart rate, and a bunch of other things. So what's cool about that is that's how I know if I'm hitting 10,000 steps. That's how I wake up and know what my sleep looks like. I know that the CBD is impacting my deep sleep because when I forget to take it, my deep sleep drops. When I take it, it's insane. Um, I know, like, I, I know this stuff because I'm seeing the results, okay? Now, a big question I get is, why the Aura Ring? I have an Apple Watch or I have a Fitbit or I have a whatever. The reason I choose an Aura Ring is because when it's in airplane mode, it doesn't release EMFs. If you're like, what the heck is that? Google it. You'll learn. Okay. I do not want to have something on my body 
that is releasing EMF. So I don't want an Apple Watch. So I have like a normal traditional watch that is on purpose. People will say, I just can't believe you don't have an Apple Watch. You have everything else Apple. I'm like, well, yes, but I don't wear my phone. I don't put my computer. I'm not like, you know what I'm saying? I have enough probably EMFs around me that this is just one thing that I don't, I'm not sleeping with on and all of that stuff as well. So I do have a coupon code if anybody wants to check out Aura. Um, I have been wearing mine for five years and I love it. Okay. Now I have a million more things that I love and that I'm doing. And this podcast could be like six episodes long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw everything else I have not told you on that download for you. Okay. I like have a lot of biohacking things. I love my sauna. I do my sauna a couple of times a week. Um, yes, I have a Peloton. I don't use the Peloton as much because I love the faster way, but the Peloton is usually more of my thing in the winter when I'm not going to get outside and I need to get those steps in and things like that. Um, but anyway, remember why do you want to do any of this stuff, right? Figure that out first and then ask yourself, what was like one thing you might want to try, right? Like maybe it's going from having four cups of coffee to trying two a day. Maybe it's like kicking the monster habit or it's getting sleep. I'm sleeping 9 p.m. to about 6 a.m. Now, that might sound extreme. I will say, especially in the summer, I will wake up probably between like 5.30-ish, 5.30, 5.45 without an alarm. And I will just like stay in bed and rest a little bit. Or if I'm like wide awake, I get up. In the summer, it's easier because it's sunny out and I can wake up naturally. In the winter, it's dark at 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. So it's very easy for me to sleep all the way till six with the alarm. I am in a season where I am, I am working hard and my body just feels like it needs the rest. I have had less sleep than that, but right now that is what I am doing. Okay, now I think I've overwhelmed you enough. <laughs> Remember, I have been doing this for 10 years and I've been obsessed with it. I am, I'm like reading so much and learning so much. I love this stuff. So I would just recommend start small with baby steps, okay? Just like year one, Stacey, would not have done all of this stuff, right? I, you wouldn't even have convinced me of all of this stuff. I wouldn't have bought into it. I wouldn't have believed it. I would have had just, you know, a million things to say. So now here's the deal, because I do love this stuff. If you have a hack you think I'd be interested in or you want to share with the rest of the community, here's what I want you to do. Screenshot this episode, go on Instagram, tag me, shout it out, but share your tip on it. And I will reshare them on my Instagram and we'll see like what other tips and things that maybe our community has that we could all be learning from. So I hope you enjoyed this, my little update on what I'm doing peak performance wise, why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it. If you have any follow up questions, please let me know because there'll be more episodes like this coming your way. All right, everyone have a great week. I will see you soon. And that's a wrap. If you're loving the Well-Oiled Operations Podcast, then I know you would love our Well-Oiled Mastery Program. It's a six-month program for you and your team to help you get the business running like a well-oiled operation. We pull back the curtain and share all of our systems when it comes to marketing, fulfillment, and operations. We guarantee to increase your profit margins while reducing your time by 25% or your money back. Head over to welloiledoperations.com and get your business running like a well-oiled operation today.